Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhelp on Facebook. I have a member request. This is her file right here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, you want to do a, um, what she wanted was uh, help with a file. Um, she's brand new to this, so she wanted to know how to either break this file apart or how to trim out the layers. Well, because this was an image file to begin with, and yes, she does have... Uh, the rights to use this file okay um, but how to trim out this file so that she could use it with HTV well the good thing about having a PNG image file and having a nice size one at that is that you use a color trace so that you can uh, trace this image in by color to get the layers that you need and when you bring the layers in it is going to also trim it out so that all of this lays on one single layer. Nothing will be on top of another. Okay. Uh, with this specific file, please also make sure that you remove the tick from the remove background. We want this yellow background to stay. The max number that I use is three because there's three colors. Okay. So we can click preview or I'm going to click OK. Please understand that most times, the writing that comes in a lot of times may not transfer very well because the files are small this file is perfect because it's huge okay so it comes in really really well no I do not want that to transfer oh my god that gives me a heart attack this file is much easier to do um, in the offline version of canvas because of the because of the layers okay I will just tell you that right off the bat and here we go okay so let's see here let's move this straight down I wish you guys had straight down and straight to the side arrows so that you didn't have to move it Okay, this gets a big old <coughs> white. Okay. This gets a big old group. Edit. And you get punky, punky gold. This one back here gets a funky go too. Okay. Now, this is the part that kind of stinks. Because I don't have the ability to have arrows to move these in a specific direction with no movement tolerated one way or the other. It'll only move straight up and down or straight to the side. I have to do things this way. Okay, so now I'm going to edit, group them, and what we'll dead gum color? Oh, that's the yellow. Gold. That's gold. Canada. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know how to pronounce Canada. Make sure you don't touch any of those letters down there. Edit. Group. We're going to take Canada for a ride. Okay. There we go. Now I need to touch all of those and always have a picture so that you can double check to make sure what you're doing is correct because sometimes you can get a little confused utilizing canvas in shortcuts a lot you do a single color trace and you're done it's all broken apart for you you do not have to do any of this sort of stuff okay it's all taken care of for you this will be i think black it is yeah 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 yeah. Now the R, the R may give me some fits. Because I have to get in there and get that little R. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. And then I have to get. Oh, my computer is <laughs> acting like a two year old child. <laughs> Maybe I can get the R this time. There we go. Okay, now we are ready. Hopefully I did that right. Okay, I don't think I need you anymore. See, it would be nice to be able to place this by just... Oh, crap. I forgot to put all this stuff back. Why didn't you guys tell me that? See, to be able to just drag this down by having directional arrows would be very nice to have. It would really assist in design. Not that this matters, because by the time you take it to the machine, you have to have this separated anyhow. And you want to keep the little pieces together, like where they're at, so you want to pull the words apart. Okay. Gotta go get my... Gotta go get this little fellow and paint him black. No, yellow, right? Yeah. I think. No, black. Oh, because I forgot to paint this black. Sorry. Okay, so now when I slide this in, we should be heading into the home stretch. There. All done. Holy cow smacks. And that has taken us 7 minutes and 10 seconds to do. Okay, so if you have any questions on how to do this, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Now, of course... You cannot have this um, this size, so you need to edit, group it, and then, because I like to do things uh, proportionally, I will resize it by doing this. I will take it down. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, my computer isn't keeping up with me. I will resize it this way, okay? So that I, sh I am sure that the aspect ratio is remaining the same. Now we usually go after the too big one right there. So that would be good. All right. Okay. And then you can drag it apart into your white color. So you can have your, you can ungroup it and then have your white color, separate your yellow color and then your black color. Okay. So edit. On group. I don't think my oldest son realizes <laughs> recording a video because I don't think he'd be acting this way. Um, well, let's see. Let's grab grab this black one. You can bring all the black pieces down here if you want. So I bring all of my black words down here. Stay away from those little. Oops. Stay away from those little center. Hang on, I need to pause this until I'm recording. Okay, so now I can't get that one, so I'm just going to pull this one. And you just start pulling down the colors. Okay, so I'll put all my black pieces here, etc., etc. I guess I'll go ahead and keep pulling. So then you can cut all of your black pieces, okay? Let's see. Oops, that's my yellow piece. Did not want to move that. I need to go after that blasted R again. Nope. Yep. Oh no, I just resize it. See, man, I'm telling you, this is why it ha the offline version works really well. Hell heck with it. I give up. We're going to pretend that the R moved. Okay. So now. Edit. Group this one. 
Now I use my 6 by 6 square, so I will line this one up right on the 6 here. So I've lined it up right at the 6 at the top. The black is this bottom layer right there. Now this one, let's see if these have all stayed grouped. Okay, yes they have. This one? Yes, this one? No. Edit, group. Now, it is up to you if you want to move things like this. Okay, total. Uh, I'm going to get that thing. Where did that thing go? Ah, I won. Okay, so you can drag that little fellow. You can throw this little thing in the trash can because I've had it with him. Okay, but it's up to you if you move any of these pieces. Okay, or what I would do because it is in this big scheme of things, I would put this right back in here. Okay, I would bring one of these words up just to make sure that it still fits with where all of those little letters and insides go. Yep. Then I would go ahead and, oops, this isn't going to fit there. So bring it down a little bit more. Make note of where that sits. Okay. This one. Edit. Group. Let's bring it all the way up and into the corner. This one sits under there a little bit more. So when I go to fill my mat, I'm going to pay close attention to where that sits. Put my stuff down, bring my file over, stick it into the machine, do a background scan in just to make sure that my black vinyl, my white vinyl, and my yellow vinyl are actually going to capture where my file sits on my scan and cut. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, please come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. All right.